this shit again? Three days behind. I've had three yeah, fucking hours of sleep. You can shoot the scene. It's just not fair to push us even further behind because you've had a couple of shitty days. It's not my fault the driver can't pick me up on time. Bullshit. Let's just get this shit show going. All right, everyone, back to ones. Quiet on set. Quiet on set! All right, and lock it up. And roll sound. Uh, speed, I think. Roll camera. Rolling. And mark it, finally. Duality, roll 23, scene 12A, take one. All right, Donna. I've been waiting weeks for this information. It better be worth the wait. As it just so happens, a phone number and address just came in. From the sounds of things, it's the man you've been hunting down. Outskirts of the city, up near the old mill. Mm, thanks, girl. Keep this up and I might just be back. <laughs> this schmuck has no idea what he's in for. I can't take it with these film crews. They're weak. I'm not very happy with the footage, personally. Well, with the script written in the 50s, you can We all know the script is shit. We're gonna need more money if we're gonna save this train wreck. Well, now, it's not my fault this turned into a train wreck. Honestly, the sets are just way below what budget should be providing. Well, if you'd listen to me for one second, I'd solve about 90% of your problem right here. Where is Thamesville? Thamesville? is where the magic happens and the money rolls in. And where'd you find this place? I know some people. Let's just say it pays to find short documentaries. So this will be the murder house. Isn't it beautiful? You'll be shooting here in three days. Until then, you have the crime scenes in the woods to shoot. Oh, and guys, do some rewrites for the new script. Try to spice it up, eh? one man see. must one man see. Is that the PA from yesterday? No. Did you fucking shoot this? I have no fucking clue what's going on. Why is it burning? Who's got the camera? Who's that? Oh, shit. Is he dead? This isn't really over. Okay, what the fuck did I just watch? 
you guys know about that shit? Do I look like I fucking knew about that shit? Isn't it obvious? Yesterday a PA and a camera goes missing, and today we find this horror footage? This guy's just trying to break into the industry, and he's wasting our film to do it. And if I fucking see that little fuck around here trying to ask me what I think about it, then I'm gonna fucking kill it myself! Fuck. They call you a murderer. Pardon me? The critic. They blame you for the death of the cinematic movement. The Times even calls you the Dave who killed Neil Noir. How does it feel to be interviewed? It's funny. The other week I was reading an article in Cinematographer Weekly, and they called duality a grotesque snuff film masquerading as a noir. That film came out over 10 years ago, and it's still being talked about today. And that article came out before I released this behind the scenes footage, so this film is definitely polarizing. Did you always know it would be? I hoped so. Did I think that people were going to be calling me a monster? No. Are you? A monster? I don't think so. So we have to show the details. Whoa! Slow down. Before we get into your shit, you better tell me what the fuck happened in Dailies today. Our editor refuses to even look at that reel. That was bullshit. That was just some PA trying to get noticed. Well, it worked. Oh, shut the fuck up, Christine. You know every other freaking PA wants to be the next fucking Tarantino. I can't believe you're falling for this shit. I don't think you get it. I would pull this whole production if I didn't just sink way more money than I should have into that Victorian house. Which better look fucking great, by the way, or I will pull the plug. Well, that's what we're trying to tell you. We want to take the film in a new fucking direction. I couldn't care less right now. Are you kidding me? What we're trying to tell you, we, we can change this future of cinema. Get the fuck cinema. out of my office. Oh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Go. What the fuck are you still doing here? And that's a fucking cut. All right. Perfect shot, people. Woo. That's a wrap on exteriors. Let's move it inside, folks. Oh, I can't believe we got that uh, shot. Excuse me, I know you said yeah, not to bother you. Bother away. Uh, I was just wondering about the rewrites, the new direction <laughs> the Kid, that information is a little out of your pay grade. <laughs> Sorry about that. He's a prick to anyone that's not a key. You were asking about the rewrites? Yeah, just wanted to know. Well, I can't say much, but, uh, oh, shit. Cam! Here. Switch us out, get me a fresh reel. Okay, sure. Where's the dark bag? Oh, fuck. I think I left it down by the creek. Do you mind go grabbing it? And yeah. where's the other Bolex? Sure, I'll grab it. It's inside. It's loaded and ready to go. Thanks. I'm kind of perplexed right now how this is even happening. Because, like, just from on the way here, it just doesn't make sense. Mm. Well, you brought up the behind-the-scenes footage, and there's a lot I want to cover there. But first, it feels like you chose to admit some key bits of footage. Are we to believe that no one caught any of the murderer's faces on camera? Or that in no time at all, no one filmed you and director Taylor Alfredson coming up with the quote-unquote new direction you took to filming? The film that we released, that was all the film we found. And as for the uh, missing bits of us re rewriting the script, well, that was never recorded. See, Taylor was the brains of the operation, and he was very skittish about sharing his creative process. But he trusted you. To a certain extent.
this one's a fairly easy one, just a lot of walking with a little itty bitty line at the end. You can handle that, right? Yeah. Of course you can, that's why we're paying you. Okay, so this is your first position. Got it? Sala. First position? I'm holding it like half my costume on. First position. Okay, so you walk in, the door's open, you're wondering if anyone still lives here anymore. You look left, you look right, and then you follow over down by that door, you go through the door, camera stays here, and then camera pans over the staircase. We see Lady Jenny walking down, and she hears a noise, she's gonna go investigate. You follow her over into the next room, you can go over the shoulder shot and line. Excuse me, you're not supposed to be in here. And the P.I. approaches, lights a cigarette on his way over. If I wanted any lip from you, I'd rattle my zipper. He walks right by her, and beautiful close-up of Lady Jenny. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. And Golden! Sweet. Cool. Let's run it, people. Oh, I need water. I got my costume. Where's my D.O.P.? Right here. But I'm really sorry. We have another problem. Hey there, it's me, just calling to tell you what happened on set. Well, see, we had another person disappear from set. The camera assistant went to, to find a dark bag and never came back. It's not like I have any control of this shit. I am breaking myself just to get this story coherent. Well, with my cam ass gone and PA gone, I literally have no one to slate for me. You have to send some sort of crew out here for Fuck! Turn that shit off, are you kidding me? But he shared it and trusted you with it. To a certain extent. I'd say more than that. You understood his vision enough that you took it upon yourself to direct after his death. When did you... I mean, you had to have known at some point. You never even started to suspect something was amiss. I've thought about this for a long time, and I'd like to say that I wasn't aware of anything going on, but there was a time right before Taylor's death that I suspected something. But then he disappeared, and I just stressed out so much that I blocked everything out that wasn't the film. All right, bring it up. A little higher. A little lower. To your right. Your other right. Are you fucking kidding me? I've been doing this for two goddamn days and you're making jokes? Calm down, man. I am not gonna calm down! Come on, she didn't mean anything by it. You think this is a fucking game? This is my life, this is my fucking life, and I can't be here. I have to fucking go home to my family. I can't be here anymore. Oh, come on, man. You can't do this. Not now. Fuck it, man. That guy was a waste of time anyways. that's this fucked. I'm telling you, I can get this finished for next to nothing. Pulling it will cost you more. I'm sorry, but I closed the joint account this morning. You will not see another penny from us. I'm telling you, I can pull this off. With what crew? We only have two scenes left. That'll take maybe one day for filming. <laughs> All right, fine. If you can get this done in one day, then you have the day's pay and distribution. But this is festival quality at best. I will not give it theatrical release. Thank you so much. You won't regret this. No, I will. Somehow I always do.
My lawyers have told me not to comment on that. Why are these behind the scenes tapes only coming out now? No comment. Um, do you know where the actors and crew members were, are, were involved today? I said no comment. Are they dead? No comment. Would you tell them? This interview's done. <laughs> 